So what I really want to share with you today is about the spirit of courage. My God, the spirit of courage, which is the spirit of confrontation, you know, because when you have that boldness, you are able to confront. And you know, the Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear because spirit of fear will not be able to control, it will not be able to confront. Spirit of fear cannot confront. It is the spirit that is always hiding. But you know, God is not a God of hiding. God is a God of boldness. God declares, God speaks. And because of the boldness and the perseverance of God, everything that he said came to pass. And the Bible also says that we, when you go to the book of Genesis, you know, from chapter one, chapter two, the Bible says that God has created us in his image. So that means we carry the seed of God in us. And if God has created us in his image, and we basically also carry the attributes of God, and you know, one of the attributes of God is the spirit of boldness, is the spirit of confrontation. God confronts. Jesus, when he came to the earth, he confronted. But let's just base on one or two chapters of the Bible and then so that we know exactly what we are talking about. And so I want to take you to the book of Joshua chapter 1. Let me quickly get in my Bible so we all read together. Let's just take it from verse 5. And then we all know that Joshua was a right hand of Moses who was actually the second man next to Moses. And we know that also the Bible says that wherever, whenever Moses was going to the temple to meet God or the mountain to meet God, Joshua was one of the persons that he took. Okay, verse 5, the Bible says that no one will be able to stand against you. That is when Moses, this is, this is God speaking to um, Joshua. And that was after when um, Moses died and God said, now my son, my son Moses the servant is dead. Now you are the one to take over to bring my people to the promised land. So now let's hear what the Lord said to him. He says, no one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. And this word alone, prophetically, is not speaking to, to, to Joshua, neither is he speaking to Moses alone. This, it doesn't matter whether it's the Old Testament or whatever testament you can, you, you can classify. But I know that God is not a God of the old and is not a God of the new, but God is God. So God classified for all, for new and for old. So the word of God is not only for the old people or the word of God is not only for the new people. Word of God is for everybody. So here prophetically, God is saying today, if you are listening to my voice this evening, the Lord is letting me to know that from today, because you have received Christ in your spirit and received Christ as your Lord and personal savior, he said, I should let you know that from today, no one will be able to stand you. Oh, this is so powerful. This is so powerful. He said, no one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. This is a promise from the Almighty God that no one will be able to stand you, not today alone, not tomorrow, not next year, not next two years, but it says all the days of your life, no one will be able to stand you. So that means that God has given you the power and the spirit of confrontation and the power of courage. Because if the word of God says that no one can stand you, that means that you are out of fear. Oh, this is so deep and this is powerful. This is powerful. This is powerful. He says that from now onwards, no one will be able to stand you and also stand you all the days of your life. No one will be able to stand you. Ladies and gentlemen, Wherever you are and you are watching me today, I have come to announce to you that this is the word of God and the word of God is truth and the word of God is amen and amen. I always receive and apply the word of God in my life and I believe that when God speak it, any word in the Bible applying to my life, I receive it with joy and gladness and I take it into practice and once I accept and I believe it, that is when it works in my life. So please, if you are listening to me, I have come to pronounce to let you know, God is, has called me to, to inform you, to let you know that because 
He has called you because he has chosen you into his kingdom to be royal. He says, I should let you know that from today, from today, as you are listening to my voice, no one will be able to stand you all the days of your life. So if you are somebody that carries the spirit of fear, it is not from God. This is from the, from the devil. Because the Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of sound mind and bone. He has given you and me the spirit of boldness, which is the spirit of confrontation. My, 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 this is so powerful. And then he says, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hey, be strong and courageous. That is where I'm going. Courage to be able to confront the enemy. Because the enemy, the Bible says that the enemy is running around looking for someone to devour. Now, when the enemy comes to you, the enemy comes to confront you, hmm? but he doesn't use the word of God to confront you. He twists the word of God to confront you, for you to be confused. And when you are confused, you have fear. And when you have fear, you are not able to declare and to decree. When you have fear, you have boldness. It's like when faith comes inside, darkness or doubt walks away. The same way, when the fear comes inside, boldness walks away. Light and darkness has nothing in common. Ladies and gentlemen, so now listen to what the word of God says. It says, be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give to them. Once again, verse 7, it says, be strong and very courageous. Very, it didn't say courageous, it said very courageous. Be careful to obey all, this, all the command I have given to my servant Moses or Moses gave to you. Do not turn it to the right or to the left that you may be successful wherever you go. And this word is so powerful, is so powerful. And I've come to announce you that please, as long as you have decided to walk with the Lord, the spirit of boldness is very, very important. You need it. Because if you don't have this spirit, you are not able to confront your neighbor that is always, always trying to insult you, always trying to abuse you and saying that, why are you always going to church service every Sunday morning when we are sleeping, you are waking, you are going to church service every Friday night, you are leaving the house, you are coming late. This is called the spirit of disunity. You know, because when they begin to confront you with that spirit, that spirit will totally bring you down. It will bring you into a place of fear. But you are not called to have fear. You are called to overcome fear because fear automatically is under your feet. The Bible says that God has given us the keys of the kingdom of heaven. That whatever we bind on earth will already be bound in heaven. So my ladies and gentlemen, my friends, my sisters, my brothers, if you are watching me, please, I have come to announce to you, you need the spirit of boldness. You don't even need actually, you have it. In short, you have it. You don't need it because it's not, it's not something that you have to acquire. It's something that God has, in, has instituted in you because God created you in his image. He created you in his power. He created you in his mindset. God gave you the authority you know, to be able to declare and to decree. As you read in the book of Job from 21 to uh, uh, 29, it says that from now onwards, whatever you decree, it shall be established. Whatever you say from now onwards, it will be established. Now, what are you saying? Are you saying something out of boldness or are you saying something out of fear? Because God has given you that power. To declare and to decree. Now let's go back to the book of John chapter 18. And hear what also comes in the mouth of Christ. This is very, very, very important. From verse 19 to 22. Now this was the season when Christ when Christ was, was arrested uh, to the high priest. And he was being questioned. So quickly uh, um, from verse 19. He said, meanwhile the high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teaching. And Jesus replied, I have spoken openly to the world. Jesus replied, I always taught in the synagogue or at the temple where all the Jews come together. I said nothing in secret. You see, 
Fear. Now, what, what fear does, fear will let you operate in secret. Fear will let you operate in hiding. Fear will let you operate in a place where you are disguising yourself. But you see, boldness brings you up. Actually, boldness exposes who you are. Your power, it exposes your authority. It exposes actually declaring who exactly you are and what you can say. That's what boldness does. It doesn't make you hide. It, it exposes you actually, the authority and power that is in you. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are listening to me, I have come to announce to you that receive this spirit of boldness. Receive it because this is the power and the gift of God that God has given to mankind. When we receive Christ, this spirit comes automatically. He said, I said nothing in secret. Why question me? As those who heard me, surely they know what I said. So Jesus was not in a position, he had no fear of man. Now, what, what is that going to happen? You see, when you cannot be able to confront people, it shows that you have the fear of man. And that is a spirit. It also shows that you have the spirit of insecurity. Because when you carry those spirits, you will not be able to confront when people, when people are doing things that you don't, you don't like or when they are speaking things against you because you have this spirit of fear and the spirit of insecurity and the spirit of low self-esteem, it doesn't give you the ability to confront. Why? Because you don't know who you are. And that, in short, it means that you don't even don't know whether what you are going to speak, it will be accepted or you believe what you are saying. And this is not from God. This is is from the spirit of darkness. And then it says in verse 23, if I said something wrong, Jesus replied, testify as to what is wrong, but I speak the truth. Now you see what I'm talking about. Jesus said, I speak the truth. Now confrontation comes out of truth because anytime when you confront, you know and you know and you know for sure that what you are confronting of or confronting with is the truth. And when truth is there, there is no fear. Because truth brings clarity. And clarity brings boldness. Boldness brings security. And security brings protection. Oh my, this is so powerful. This is powerful. This is powerful. Now, let me go to the last chapter. Okay? We go into the last chapter and then you will now realize exactly what I mean by the spirit of boldness. We God created us and then he, he, he put it into us. Because some of us, we have come to a place, we don't know what we are made of. And we don't know what God has given to us. Because God said, I have given you the authority, I have given you the power to take dominion. You know, taking dominion, that means dominion is, is like taking authority, taking possession. When you possess, you have the power. Now listen to this. Uh, this is my last chapter, and after I'm going to pray with you, bless you, and I release you to go. Now the book of Matthew chapter 23 from verse 16. These are the seven woes, and seven woes interpreted in translation, woe, it means it's a curse. Woe means a curse. So these are the seven curses that Jesus released upon the Pharisees, you know, when he was talking to them. Matthew 23, from verse 16, he said, Woe to you, blind guides. You say, if anyone swears by the temple, it means nothing. But anyone who swears by the gold of the temple is bound by the oath. You blind fools. You see, so it means if you don't carry that boldness, you are not able to speak what is the truth. You know, he was letting them to know that they are fools. That everything that they are declaring, they are talking about the law. They themselves, they are not observing the laws. See, so, so, so listen to this part. This part is so amazing. Now, when I was reading, I said, wow, this man, Jesus, he's very, very bold. Now, from chapter 23, Matthew 23, from verse 36, it says, Truly I tell you, all this will come on this generation. Now, it says, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets... And stone those sent to you. How often I have longed to gather your children together. As a hen gathers her chicks under her wings and you were not willing. Look, your house is left to, 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 you, to you desolate. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is the man who comes in the name of the Lord. Now listen to that statement. He said, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets 
and stone those that God has sent to you. Now, if you don't carry this spirit of boldness, if you don't have it, you will not be able to speak this sentence. Because this sentence is coming out of boldness, out of no fearing man. You know, out of no fearing people, out of security, out of, out of security and not having the fear of man and the spirit of insecurity. Now, you are called not to have the spirit of insecurity because to preach the gospel, you need to be secure. To preach the gospel, you have to know who you are. Even though God said, I will use the foolishness of this world to shame the world. But God knows that because he has created you and me in his image, he has given us his spirit. And we know that the spirit of God is the spirit of boldness. Ladies and gentlemen, let today be your last day of having the fear of man. Because you are made not in the image of man, but you are made in the image of God. And that is my last word for you, a word of wisdom. You and me are made in the image of God, not in the image of man. Because man has limitations, hmm? but God is unlimited. He's a God of power. God of protection, God of security, God of boldness, and God of spirit of confrontation. God confronts issues. God speaks. God declares and is established. So if you are listening to me today, I have come to pronounce into your life, receive the spirit of confrontation or receive the spirit of courage because you need to walk into courage to be able to possess your land. Mm. You need to walk in the spirit of what? Courage or confrontation to be able to possess your land or to be able to possess what God has destiny for you. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But you have come that we may have long life and have the spirit of boldness to retrieve back everything that the enemy has stolen from us. And today we're going to pray and we're going to declare the spirit of boldness that God shall release upon us or God will activate it once again because if we don't use what we have it dies that means if you, if you plant a seed and you don't water the seed no matter how much sunshine will shine on top it will die because sun is going to burn the leaves so that means we have to activate again what God has given to us and God has given to us the spirit not of fear but the spirit of boldness and sound mind my prayer for you now is that may the spirit of God, which is the spirit of boldness and the spirit of security and the spirit of, of, of wisdom, I declare in the name of Jesus, may that spirit come upon you today. As you hear my voice, my prayer for you is that you will rise out of your, out of your comfort zone and you will stand upon your feet and begin to declare what the Lord wants you to declare at the right time. At the right time, declare the right word with boldness and security, and the Lord will back you up, and the Lord will move you to the next level. This is my prayer for you. Therefore, I bless you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. We love you, we love you, and we love you, and we declare shalom, which is the peace of God upon your life. Love you.